Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Common YouTube channel and in this video tutorial we are going to learn about Wiremox inbuilt matchers which we can use to configure stubs. In the last video tutorial we learned about URL matching and we covered multiple scenarios related to query params, parse params and regular expressions. The response of an API might depend on different factors as well like request headers, request body, authorization and cookies. So Wiremox provides you capability to configure stub based on these parameters as well. For example, if we pass any specific header with a specific value, then I should get a response. That response might change for different value of that header. Similarly, what we pass in request body, the response might be different. So Wiremo provides multiple built-in matchers. Let's see them one by one. Suppose I have an API to fetch the student detail and it may accept some headers. It might be some predefined or some custom headers as well. You must have heard of custom header called X request ID. This header is generally used to track the logs of this API request in the log servers like Splunk or Datadog. For example, when we hit this API, it is supposed to do some internal calls and fetch the student details. So you can use the value of X request ID and search the logs in Splunk or Datadog or any logging server and you can go step by step to see how the calls was made internally and response was fetched. And this particular header is also used widely in Wiremock means what value you pass for this header you might get some different response. For example, if I pass X request ID as student 1 then I should get some specific details for student ID 1. Similarly for student 2 or student 3. It is up to you how you are going to use this header. So let's create a stub in which I will put the condition that if the x request ID is equal to student 1 then return a response. I have already created one basic JSON stub configuration and I have opened it into IntelliJ. Here we have method as get and we have the URL which is the basic step we have done here and this I have already explained in my previous videos as well. Now I want to put the configuration for this header. So for that we need to use another keyword called header. In fact we need to use headers because we can put multiple headers configuration. So use headers it will hold a JSON object. Here we need to give the name of the header which is x request id and header names are case sensitive. So let's copy the header name based in double quotes. It will hold a JSON object and here I need to give the condition. What is my scenario that this request id should equal to a value. So I need to use a keyword called equal to and pass the value which is student1. So this stub will match the method then URL and then inside headers it will check for this specific header. If it is present then it will check the value of that header. If it is equal to student1 then it is going to return you this JSON body. Let's save it and start the mock server. Java happen jar and pass the file name. So while mock is up and running. Let's go to postman and hit the API. So you can see we are getting the response as student id 1. If I change the request id from student 1 to 2 then it is going to complain that request was not matched. If you see the console here you can see header does not match. We have the step configuration as student 1 but we are passing student 2. If we pass student 1 but instead of capital S I am passing the small s then if I hit the send button then also it is going to complain. Why? Because this student 1 is not equal to this student 1. It is checking for the exact match. If you don't want that or if you don't want to consider the cases, then we can add extra key case insensitive. If you put equal to true, then it is not going to complain about the cases. Let me save it and restart the server. If I hit the request again, this time I am going to get the response as student id equal to 1. Now you might be thinking I am using equal to. So every time I need to pass the specific value. If your scenario is that if the request id consists of any specific value then return the response. So instead of equal to we can use contains. But we cannot use case insensitive attribute here. Let me show you. Let me save and restart the server. Now if I hit this request so I am going to get the error. It is expecting that it should contain student1 where s is capital but it is actually containing student1 where s is small. We are using the case insensitive key but still it is giving the error. So with the contains keyword 
we cannot use case insensitive so let me remove this case insensitive attribute from here and save it restart the server here i am using the small s so let's change to capital s click on send so here we are getting the response if i use some extra character after is 21 then also it is going to work because i have the stuff configuration which check if the request id contains is 21 where s is capital if i append something in front like numbers then also it is going to return me the response now if you want that if the request id does not contain some specific value then return the response so instead of contains we can use another keyword called does not contain let's save it and restart the server so here request id contains is 21 if i hit the send button it is going to give the error change the capital s to small s then it is going to return me the response we can also use any regular expression but to use the regular expression instead of equal to a contains attribute we need to use another attribute called matches so i am going to use if execute study contains a student one so for that i am going to use period a strict then keep the student one period and strict it says that if the execute ID contains a student one then return this response so let's save it and restart the wire mock server go to postman and if you hit this request where a student is in a small case then it is going to complain because there i am passing capital s student so let's change it it will work perfectly fine and if you want to do the reverse means instead of matches we can use does not match so let's save it and restart the wire mock server and if i hit this request in postman where i have this 21 it is going to complain that request were not matched if i pass small s and hit the request then it is going to work perfectly fine so one thing you need to understand that whatever matches we just learned that we can use for different headers cookies or query params, path params, anything you can use. And to use with the query parameters, instead of headers, we need to change into query parameters, which I have already explained in my previous video. Now suppose if this execute ID head is not present, then only you are going to return this response. So instead of any different matches like equal to or contains, we can use another keyword called absent and it will take a boolean value true. So let's save it and restart the white box server. So here we are passing the request ID. If we hit the send button, it is going to complain that it should be absent, but we have this request ID. That's why it is not matched. If I uncheck this header and hit the send button, this time I'm going to get the response. We can also use logical operators like and and or. So suppose you have a scenario in which you want that execute study should contain demo and also it should contain only alphabet. So here we have two conditions and both should be true. So in that case, we can use AND operator or if your scenario is that either it should contain demo or it should be numeric. Any one condition should be true. So in that case, we can use logical operator or so let's see the example of AND first. So here instead of absent, use AND and this will hold a JSON array. And here you can have multiple conditions. So I'm going to have two conditions. First one, it should contain demo and also it should match a regular expression. So I'm going to have a2. So if the value of execute ID contains demo and also it has only a2g, then it will return this response. Let me save and restart the wire mock. So as of now here, I have the request ID as demo1. And if I hit this request, it should complain that request is not matched because it does not contain demo and it should contain only lowercase alphabets. But here we have uppercase and also we have numbers. So let me change to small demo and append some values here. And if I hit the send button, this time I should get the response because this time it contains demo word and also it has only lowercase alphabet. Similarly, we can use OR operator. So instead of AND, just use OR. In this case, the value of execute ID should satisfy at least one condition. Then this JSON body will be returned. So let me save it and restart the wire mock. And let's pass anything apart from demo and hit the send button. I should get the response because it is satisfying the second condition. And here we are using OR. We can also have multi values header or cookies or query params. That means we can have same header name and we can pass multiple values. Similarly, for query parameters or cookies. For example, I can pass multiple request ID. This is not the ideal case, but suppose we need to pass a header which can have multiple values and all these values will be combined together and sent with the request. So if you want to create the step configuration for 
this, that is also possible. So here we have multiple scenarios. So suppose you want that there should be only three values and it should satisfy some condition. Three here just for the example purpose, it can have any number of. So for that, we have another keyword called has exactly. This has exactly will also hold a JSON array and here we can pass multiple conditions. Let me go with very simple one. I am going to use equal to maybe demo 1 and let's duplicate it for two more values and here I will change demo 2 and demo 3. So this step configuration will look for this header and it will see how many values it has. So it is expecting exactly three values and in those three values it will look for the condition like one should be demo 1, another should be demo 2 and another should be demo 3. Let me save and restart the wildmark server. So let's pass first header demo 1, here it will be demo 2 and here it will be demo 3. Everything satisfied, hit the send button, we are getting the response. If I pass only 2, then it is going to complain. Or if you pass more than 3, then also it is going to complain. If you pass demo 3 1, then also it is going to complain because all 3 conditions are not satisfied. But here we have a trick. Let me explain that. So here I am going to change. First one it should be equal to demo 1. Second one contains demo 2 and third one I am going to use does not contain. So here also it is going to check there should be total three values for x equals id one should be equal to demo one another should contain demo two or last one should not contain demo three that is our understanding let me save and restart the wiremark server so here already we have three values first one equal to demo one second is containing demo two so it's good and here i am going to have demo three only my third requirement says that it should not contain demo three let me run and see what is happening so you can see we are getting the response but how it is satisfying the, our stop configuration i am clearly saying that it should not contain demo three but here we have demo three but no that is not correct understanding here it will check i should have only three values and if you have less or more it is going to throw the error but for the values, it will look for separately. That means it will check, do I have any value equal to demo 1? Yes, we have a value demo 1. Do we have any value which contains demo 2? Yes, we have a value which contains demo 2. Do we have any value where it does not contain demo 3? Yes, we have demo 1 and demo 2 and it is satisfying. So it is given the response. It is not like that first value or first condition should match first value or second condition should match second value. If any of the value is satisfying the condition then it is going to give you the response. Suppose instead of demo 2 I just pass demo and if I hit the request I am going to get the error because second condition is not satisfied by any of the value. When you use has exactly here we are restricting the number of values that means it should have only n number of value but you don't want that. Your scenario is that it can have any number of values but at least it should have minimum number of values and satisfying some condition. So in that case instead of has exactly we can use include and let's use simple conditions like equal to only. So in this step configuration it will check that there should be minimum three values of x request id and it should satisfy these conditions. If we have more values it is not bothering but if you have less value than three then it is going to complain. Let me save and restart the wiremark server. Let me pass more request id and I am going to pass demo 4 and let me correct demo 2 demo 2. Let hit the request and we are getting the response. But if we uncheck 2, so now we have only 2 values but minimum there should be total 3 then it is going to complain. So these are the matches we generally use to create the step configuration. These are not confusing but requires little practice. So that's all in this video. If you have any doubt please comment on this video. If you really like my videos please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.